What's up, everyone? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. I am super excited to be here today because we finally get to talk about Hero 27. Who is Hero 27? Well, it is Brigitte Lindholm. You first saw her in the Reinhardt animated short, Honor and Glory. You might have recognized her also from the comic book we put out last year as well called Fighting Dragons. So Brigitte is the daughter of Torbjorn, who is Overwatch's master weaponsmith. So he had a daughter, um, and that daughter grew up with Torbjorn in the workshop, watching him uh, apply his craft and make all sorts of cool things, and she wanted to be just like her dad. Well, her dad also had this great friend named Reinhardt, uh, who was an adventurer and a, a very important Overwatch member. Eventually, Brigitte decided to go uh, serve as Reinhardt's squire. And at first, she, she primarily was there to fix his armor when it would get destroyed, wh whether he was out helping people um, or doing all the heroic things that Reinhardt did. But eventually, she learned that to make a bigger difference, she needed to learn to fight alongside Reinhardt so she could be there to sort of tend to him and protect him as much as he was protecting others. So let's talk about Brigida from a gameplay standpoint, because I think that's where she really shines. So she is a support character, first and foremost, but she also shares a lot of traits uh, that fit the tank role. So it should be a really interesting hybrid sort of character that you want to play. But remember, primarily she's support. The, the coolest thing that she has is a rocket flail. So Reinhardt has a rocket hammer. Brigitte has got that rocket flail. It has a, a very good range to it, even though it's a melee weapon. It extends out. It can hit characters pretty far away. And she has an ability called Whip Shot that can send the rocket flail even further out, doing a lot of damage and knocking enemies back. But that's just the beginning of Brigitte's cool kit. She also has, similar to Reinhardt, a barrier shield. And the barrier shield is uh, smaller than Reinhardt, so it only protects her. Now, she can occasionally, in a pinch, protect a teammate behind her, but primarily that barrier shield is to protect Brigitte and what's immediately uh, behind her barrier shield. She can do a really cool ability when she has the barrier shield deployed. She can do a shield bash, and what the shield bash does is it lunges her forward a short distance very quickly and does damage and a stun on whoever she leaps in on. So it's really great if you've got that annoying Tracer or Genji diving in on you and you use the shield bash, you're really gonna disable them very quickly. Now, she also has a targeted heal ability called Repair Pack. And the way this works is similar to how Zenyatta has that sort of soft targeting reticle that moves around different friendly allied heroes on her screen. She can target somebody and apply uh, the Repair Pack. Now, Repair Pack is a really big, nice heal that's on a cooldown. But if your target is at full health or you do any overhealing, mean, meaning you heal for over uh, whatever damage that they're lacking, it will apply armor to them instead for a very brief period of time. So there's a benefit sometimes in applying repair pack to somebody who maybe is just about to under, uh, undergo some big damage that you see, or of course, always saving a teammate by just healing them. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, now, there's another way for Brigitte to heal as well, and that's through a passive that she has called Inspire. The way Inspire works is anytime she's either hitting anybody with her rocket flail or she hits an enemy with her whip shot, it heals in a large radius around her. Uh, a heal over time gets applied to anybody in that large radius. So she's very powerful when the team builds around Brigitte and stays near her um, and you have that sort of unified core and Brigitte's within melee striking distance. There's a tremendous amount of healing happening at those times. Finally, there's her ultimate ability, which is called Rally. When she uses Rally, uh, you'll hear these tremendous horns uh, sort of cry out, and, and that's how you know that she's using it. She gets a big radius around her. Think uh, similar to like a Zenyatta radius or maybe Lucio's radius that appears around him. 
Um, and when Rally is active, any teammate in that radius gains armor that persists over time, um, and it stacks at a certain amount, so you don't have to worry about it getting out of control, but basically applies armor to all the teammates around her. And Brigitte herself, and only her, moves faster. So that way she can get into space and sort of protect whatever teammates need that protection. It's really powerful to push on. So if maybe your team is, is held up at a choke point or deciding to, to capture a, a, a control point uh, and you hear Brigitte do her rally, that's a great time for the entire team to push in and try to take that objective. We've been thrilled with her in our playtest so far. We're having tons of fun with her and finding all sorts of new compositions. She counters a lot of heroes that are very powerful right now, so we think she'll really mix up the way that the game's being played, both casually and competitively at the highest levels. Uh, we think she also adds a really great fantasy for a lot of players. Like if you're the type of player who always plays a tank but have really wanted to try a support, Brigitte might be the one for you. Or if you're a support player who's tired of always having certain harassing characters do damage to you and the rest of your team never helps you out, well, now you've got that barrier shield and that shield bash and that whip shot to help you know disengage some of those characters and get them away from you. We think she's going to bring a ton to the game. We love the fact that uh, we have more family storylines going on. So the story of, you know, Torbjorn and his daughter and uh, her godfather, who is Reinhardt. We think that it will add a lot to the game. And mostly we just want you to fall in love with her the way we have. We think she's tons of fun and we hope you enjoy playing her. Thank you very much.